Hello, in this video we're going to look at the effect of winning percent on Major League Baseball attendance. We're going to do two period panel data analysis using something called the first difference estimator. Suppose we have two years of panel data on attendance and winning percent for each Major League Baseball team. In the second year, the attendance demand for Team I is given by so A is the attendance, seasonal attendance. We're going to have a intercept or constant term here. W is going to be the winning percent for Team I. 2 is, again, just representing the second year. In the first year, attendance demand for Team I is given by. Similar equation, except uh, we're using 1 here to represent year 1 for the first year of data. So I, like I said, is the I team's total season attendance. W is team I's winning percent. And now for some of these other variables, U. And you'll know U is not, doesn't have a one or two subscript. It's just U subscript I. Uh, this is the team's unmeasured factors that affect team attendance, but that do not change over time. So this could be geographic and demographic features of the, the area that the team operates in. These are going to be roughly constant over short periods of time, uh, and they're included in you. Uh, cost of attendance could be included in you, especially if this changes very little over time. And E is just going to be the air term. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to subtract the second equation from the first equation. And some things will cancel. The U's are going to cancel. The A's will cancel. Uh, we'll factor out the coefficient C. And then we'll combine the air terms. In shorthand notation, we got the change in attendance on the left-hand side. That is our dependent variable. And we got the change in the winning percent on the right-hand side, and the change in the winning percent would be our independent variable. This is our first difference equation. Each variable is just differenced over time. The good news is that the unobserved factors that affect, atten that affect attendance are controlled for uh, by differencing them out of the equation, and this will reduce omitted variable bias. Uh, B is going to be the change in the intercept from year one to year two. And let's show how to do this in Excel. All right, so we have our Major League Baseball teams here in the team column. We have that team's annual attendance. This would be in 2017. The team's annual attendance in 2016. The team's winning percent in 2017, the team's winning percent in 2016. So the first thing we do is we are going to create this change in attendance variable. And all I did here was I took the attendance in 2017 and I subtracted from it the attendance in 2016. And then I did a similar thing for this change in winning percent. This is a new variable I'm creating by taking the winning percent in 2017 and subtracting from it the winning percent in 2016. So now we're ready to run our regression. I'll pull up the regression package here. Our dependent variable will be this F column. Our independent variable will be this G column. We'll select an output range and hit OK. And we got our results. The key thing we want to look at is the coefficient on the independent variable. And we can see first off it is statistically significant. And then the next thing we'll do is the interpretation. So what does a one percentage point increase in the winning percent over time due for a team's attendance. So 0.01 represents a one percentage point increase in the team's winning percent over this period of time. 
if we multiply that by the coefficient. This will tell us that for every one percentage point increase in the team's winning percent, annual attendance increases by, oh, a little under 15,000 fans. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.